Greetings, YouTube. I am an Iki 7070 combination CD player and cassette recorder. I was made in the mid-90s, and I'm very strange. And unfortunately, I'm not feeling too good either. JC will tell you more. Yes, it's JC here with another video about audio. And you know, when you shop on eBay, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you don't know what you got. I'm not quite sure what category this machine falls into. It arrived today, and it's in very nice cosmetic shape, as you can see. These don't look, uh, these particular display windows don't look so great because they still have the um, film on it that you're supposed to peel off. They left it there, whoever owned it before. The CD player is DOA. It does not work at all. You put a CD in it and it cannot read the disc. I've tried several discs. I've cleaned the lens. I've looked down in the transport. Everything looks normal. It just doesn't work. My suspicion is, is that the laser is bad, and I think I know why. Uh, it would be very easy to kill a laser in this machine because there's no power switch on it. It uh, has a very beefy power cord with a large three-pronged outlet on the end of it. So you have a ground, uh, it's, a, it's a grounded plug, and it's permanently part of the machine. On the front of the machine, you have inputs for a microphone, and a remote for the mic, and you have an auxiliary input here. Over here, you have five stereo headphone jacks and two external speaker jacks. says that it is seven watts into four ohms, and that is the inputs and outputs on the machine. Got some feet on the back here where you can stand it up to store it, but the machine will not operate unless it is laying down like this. Now, we cannot demonstrate the CD player, but I will show you the controls. We have a tone control. We have balance. We have volume. Here we have a switch where you can switch the amplifier between the CD player or the tape deck. These are the controls for the CD player. You can uh, program the machine. Also, it has a pitch control for the CD player, which is very strange. Play, pause, stop, and then track ahead and your uh, index within a track. So let's talk more about the uh, tape deck over here, which has some good points and bad points. The good thing about it is it's in excellent working condition, and uh, the heads are in fine shape, and they are well aligned. And on top of that, uh, the machine is AC bias, so it records a very nice sounding uh, cassette. However, there are some problems with that. First, I want to play you a little bit of something and show you that it is in stereo. And what we're going to do is we'll pan back and forth between the two speakers. This is a mono camera, but you'll tell the difference. Left channel. Right channel. Center. Playback on this machine is very fine, and you would think that with the auxiliary input on the front that one might be able to record using the tape deck and not worry too much about the CD being dead, since it does record quite well, as you heard on the uh, little intro that I recorded earlier. However, you can't really use that because what they did was is they put an auxiliary input on the front. And you would assume, since it's a stereo machine, that one could plug a stereo 1 8 inch plug in. In this case, the other end of this cable is plugged into this Optimus mixer here with uh, my Audio-Technica handheld microphone that I've had for about a million years. And that is how I was able to record the voice, since I do not have a... Uh, microphone with one of those plugs on it. This microphone has uh, XLRs. So anyhow, you would think that would be the thing to do, correct? Well, watch this. 
I'm going to put the machine in play mode and pause it. If I do that, guess what? You can hear me coming through the machine and I'm holding the microphone. Now, I'm going to come over here to the mixer and I'm going to use the pan pot to isolate one channel at a time. I have no left channel coming into the EQ machine. So I will pan all the way to the right and I have a very loud right channel coming into the EQ machine. Which tells me that this plug on the front of this machine is a mono auxiliary input. So, even though it is a stereo machine and has stereo recording capability, you cannot record in stereo unless the audio comes from a CD. So obviously, since the CD player is dead in this machine, its usefulness is uh, limited. However, the playback quality is very good because of the fact that um, this machine has some big three and a half inch speakers in here uh, that sound very, very nice. And the uh, cassette recorder itself is a, a player itself is a very nice one indeed. It is full auto stop, as I said, AC bias record, stereo if you're recording from a CD, mono if it's from the auxiliary input jack. So that one um, doesn't work. And oh, by the way, for those of you who said if it's a mono jack, it should be the left channel over here, I realize that. I think my outputs on the back are switched. It doesn't matter. It still proves the point that this is a mono uh, input because even though I can have this all in left channel over here and it's coming up through both speakers, it's simply that they just put a mono input for the auxiliary input on the tape deck and there's no other way in. So, show you the bottom of the machine. It has a power cord storage place right here. It does not have any provision for batteries. Like I said, a very large, thick power cord. And if I can get the CD player running on this, this is going to be a um, very interesting machine to have around because the audio quality is so good. But I do have my doubts. And the reason why I think the CD player does not work is because whenever you plug the machine in, it's on. And there is no power switch on the machine. So if a person would put a CD in the machine and leave it plugged in and leave that CD in pause, you have the potential of uh, overheating the laser and burning it up. I mean, uh, a laser uh, is really not much more than an LED, and if you leave them run all the time, they'll either significantly lose power or just give up altogether. So that may be the case here. So for now, this machine is uh, going to be uh, used to playback cassette tapes, which it does quite well. And it uh, supports normal tapes, does not take chrome, but however, for playing back a metal or chrome tape, you have this nice tone control, so you can just back off on the high frequencies a little bit. Anyhow, JC, Bad Edit Pro, waving bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If anybody has any suggestions about the CD player, um, love to hear them. I'm pretty sure that it's just the laser's gone. And it's that's the way it's acting. So anyhow, JC, Bad Edit Pro, waving bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.